Good afternoon on what is a cool, bright and sunny day. It is Saturday, September the 10th, and I have a stack of parcels to unbox and a nice hot cup of tea. And this box to continue unboxing. Now, I have already pulled out of this uh, the Retro Clone Mazes. So beneath this, I have um, it. Uh, this little thing, which is uh, mazes, monsters and mazes, fantasy role playing, which it says you hold the key to the door, key you hold the key to the door to adventure. A whole new category of fiction combining storytelling, psychodrama, and strategic puzzle solving in the form of a game played with pencils, papers, paper, and dice. Um, and um, what we've got here is an introduction to interactive fiction, a, a new form of play. So you may have heard about this new fantasy role play or FRP. Um, and this is sort of like as if written by, uh, essentially, it's written by C.R.L. O'Neill of Polybius Books, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, August 17, 1979. Um, so, if you're wondering, is this actually real? Is it just sort of like a is this sort of like a, a Kofak simile, or are they writing sort of like in period, as it were? Um, but, uh, and um, so what you're saying, this this little thing is the same as what you need. The rules of play is a mazes and monsters. That monsters and mazes is a form of fantasy uh, fiction where actions are adjudicated with polyhedral dice and the power of your imagination. Uh, the game is played in your mind. The action is described by the maze controller, and the adventurers respond. Dice are rolled to determine if you succeed or, fa or fail on the types of actions. So tell me what you need, index cards, scratch paper, pencils and pens, polyhedral dice, uh, or a deck of playing cards, because it, it just uses a four, a four, six, eight and ten sided dice, graph paper, hex paper, and so on for the maze controller. Um, and then we've got a discussion of the dice. It's all, um, oh, eat that, sorry, that's, apologies for that. Um, uh, and essentially playing the game one player will, cr will create a maze the maze is the underground controlled collection of rooms populated with death traps monsters riddles and magic some mazes are part of large game worlds with stories and histories beyond the what mayor wars of the dungeon um, and then the avatars travel to the maze to loot it uh, of its treasure and magic the avatars being obviously the player characters um, and um, we have um, Essentially, maze controller was placed to roll the die and consult the matrix for a specific outcome. Books, boots, blades, and sable, and essentially, books rolls are for thinking, talking, perceiving. Boots, blades, and bones. And it kind of feels, well, sort of old, but not old. Um, so a little odd. Um, and then we've got a guidance to creating an avatar. Um, and uh, you've got three types of avatar. Uh, the sorcerer, the shadow, and the cell. So oh, sorry, four and the savage. So you've got the sorcerer, the magic user, the shadow, the essentially the thief, um, the cell sword, the mercenary fighter. Uh, savage, or, or the barbarian, or your ranger, or whatever. Uh, taking hits, essentially, um, at, uh, um, essentially. Um, Essentially, kind of taking roll your dice and so on, using magical power, circles of magic power, and so on. You've got circles of magic power titles, apprentice, uh, mage, and archmage. Uh, or basically, you've got five different levels there. It's a little bit oddly laid out, so it goes out apprentice, magic user, mage, wizard, archmage. There, um, uh, short grimoire of spells. It's really kind of going, God, I wish they'd use. A bit more bold or something to break this up because it's quite difficult to read it's very uh, monotonous i have to say uh and then um optional rules for high fantasy lineages you know basically explaining um at, uh, um options for running using non-human characters if you want to although it doesn't do so in the author's game and then basically um 
At the end of the adventure, if you have achieved a goal, you earn a level. Uh, whenever you earn a level, increase your uh, level, uh, so on. Um, and uh, when you roll damage, you got it's death door. When you fail, when you fall, uh, fall to damage, your eyes close, etc., etc. Uh, and you roll a die again just to see whether you die. And then when you find a random treasure, so it's kind of sort of like semi vaguely random thrown things all together. Um, even the fact simply down to there being like um, like a, 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 a fake kind of price stamp on the back of it, you know, that this back in 1979-1980 cost a, a $1.99. Um, yeah, so what I'm actually thinking essentially is, is, is upon first glance, upon first glance, so that this what we have here is Macy's the role playing game. Uh, and this is the this is what it was based upon. This is this this is the upgraded version based on this, a repeatedly presumably a classic, and it's a conceit. Uh, and a guess that this is okay. This is basically what was produced in 1979, and this is what its fans created, or the author came back to and create in in, in 19 uh, sorry in, in 20 uh, 2022 2021. Um, so yes. Um, because uh, obviously, that's it, which is, uh, which if, going on that basis, I think that's quite entertaining. Because uh, the number of role-playing games which are coming back from that period is, and and later, of course, is 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 quite uh, amazing. Because we are in a root period of sort of like nostalgia. So obviously, we have things like Melee and Wizard come back in really nice little box sets and packed full with stuff with which to play. Um, but yeah. Um, but uh, intriguing little artifact, I think, um, as it is. I will need to go and do a bit of research on this, I think, uh, to really ascertain whether that's the case. I think it is. Um, um, but yeah, um, that's so that's Mazes and Monsters. Uh, Monsters and Mazes, sorry. Um, fantasy role playing game. Uh, published by, let's have a look. Um, let's see where these guys are. Just but, uh, um, a game by Chris O'Neill, Ninth Level Games. Um, at, uh, um, as as sort of like as a nod to the past and to the supposed origins um, of this. Anyway, uh, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing uh, in the nook, as odd as it was. Um, if you have, please do click on the like button down below. And if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to get more unboxings at the Nook, where you will see me out here um, with a box from which I will uh, unbox a book or game and talk about the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so, all of course accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea, then please do hit that subscribe button down below. In the meantime, Thanks again for watching another unboxing in the Nook. I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.